views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Conscious Creation with actress, author, and healer, Dee Wallace. If you want to take charge of your life, really take charge of your life, the next hour will be a fun, enlightening experience in creating the life you want. Whether it's money, health, success, or relationships, join Dee in celebrating the power of you and see your life expand into joyful creation. And now, here's Dee. Hello, all you amazing, fabulous, incredible, magnificent, so very loved and darn sexy people. Well, what a world, huh? What a world, what a week. It's crazy. It's crazy. Can you feel the anger? Can you feel the injustice? Can you feel you being getting sucked in? Yeah, because we are. We're all being affected by it, unless we're not. Um. You have to be pretty darn conscious not to be being sucked into all this stuff. So I've got some information for your understanding about that. If you've just joined us for the first time, you've found an amazing community of love here. We're all about bringing in the highest information. That's all we want with the highest understanding, by the way, and that's the tricky part. Um. If you want to talk to the channel today, and I cannot imagine that you would not want to talk to the channel today with all this stuff going on, press 1 now, and I will do my best to get to everyone. Um, And I am asking everyone to come forward and share this show with your friends. Uh, These times more than all the other times that we've gone through these times, (laughs) <laughs> we need to hold the focus uh, on love and peace, which is what we have been taught to do. Many of us don't even realize that we're not doing it. So we're going to go into all that today. So I'm going to jump in, but press one now so that uh, we kind of know how to time everybody if you want to talk to the channel. Okay, so why is everybody in so much rage? That's what I started out with. That was the highest question that I got. And a lot of it comes back to we just don't know we're done. We don't know it's all okay. We don't know it's complete. We don't know we're complete. And so we keep trying to to keep that drama alive by making something wrong. Now, that takes us into rage. And what is rage? Well, rage is because our adrenals, and your adrenals are what takes you into fight or flight. They're just incredibly depleted in most of us because we live our lives in fight or flight. You want to know how to handle your life better if you're angry or if you're crying a lot, either one, because it can play out both ways. Um, Find a way to test yourself for adrenal fatigue because it keeps us in fight or flight. And it takes us then into automatic anger and volatility, either volatility from fear volatility with anger, um, they're all a part of the same um, frequency. So there's a, a vicious circle that goes on. I don't know I'm complete, and I don't know everyone else is complete, and that takes me into fear. The fear puts me into fight or flight. My adrenals blow out, and that locks me into always and constant reaction instead of creation, which continues the illusion that I and everyone are not complete. That's the circle of what's going on right now. 
um, we have to be incredibly conscious to demand that we keep resonating with the peace and the love and the joy frequencies. Now, they, this ties into something they gave me earlier in the week, the channel. Uh, for those of you just joining us, I use the old word they, but who I channel is God because our definition of God is all thought and all possibility. And we ask that our minds, our brains, our hearts stay open to all thought and all possibility and not focused on the limitation. So the channel gave me these words, the disease of no choice. Where in your life do you feel like you have no choice? You absolutely have a choice to make this country strong and in integrity um, with the principles that this country was based on, but not if you keep focusing on what's wrong. That's just going to create more what's wrong, and that's exactly what's happening right now. That's why I think one of our candidates is so incredibly dangerous to the outcome of our country, and that candidate would be the collective consciousness. Haha, <laughs> fooled you, didn't I? Okay, so the disease of new, no choice, this belief that we don't have a choice. Where in your lives right now do you feel like you have no choice or don't know what choice to make? That is crashing our immune systems. Now, I want to talk about this because it's not the immune system the physical immune system as you think of it. But when we have an autoimmune disease, our immune system turns against itself and starts breaking down and we can't hold off disease. Well, if it's the disease of no choice and our immune systems are working against us, then we are going to create the spiritual and energetic dilemma of working against our own choice. I want you to hear that, working against our own choice. So we have to integrate our whole brain again to build up our immune system so that we are, within ourselves, all working together that means all of me and all of you are working together around your conscious choice and therefore all the collective consciousness then will come together and within each of themselves work together in creating what we want. Um, they took us to core belief number 16, the integration of the intellect and the heart. And how do we integrate our intellect and our heart? By letting go of our prejudices. Now, let me read you the definition of prejudice. An unfavorable opinion or feeling formed beforehand or without knowledge, thought, or reason. Without knowledge, thought, or reason. Whatever you have to let go of right now has a prejudice behind it, a belief behind it, an already formed opinion or feeling about it. And I'm going to go directly to Jeannie in New York about this because I'm going to use you, Jeannie. You're, you brought forward a perfect example. Are you there? Fine. May we go into this, please? please. Okay. So Jeannie wrote me about uh, yet 
another physical ailment that was uh, happening to her, plaguing her, um, and it is a plague, they want you to know. A plague is something that spreads, and a belief spreads, and a prejudice spreads. That's what you're seeing in the political. I want, I, I want to use Jeannie to tie together what's happening on a larger platform so that you understand basically how it works, period. So what exactly was the physical thing that you wrote me about, Jeannie? Short and sweet. Short and sweet. I have had four concussions in the same place on my head, and I believe I bumped it again. Yeah, so, but what, just give me the physical thing you wrote me about. Pain. Okay. Pain in, in that your head. One, in that one area. Right. And it had something to do with your eyes. Behind your eyes, or well, it's uh, of course it's all connected because I did have a couple of small ocular migraines. With okay, it. okay. So I wrote Jeannie back that it had something to do with her mother and her mother's story, and she had to let it go. Correct. Yes. Jeannie. Okay. And. Then Jeannie wrote me back that that made a lot of sense because her mother was always sick and blah, 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 and and that is a perfect example of how we keep the story going instead of letting go. You keep yourself in the circle of creation of what you don't want. And... Again, they're giving me the word struggle. We have such a belief in struggle that when we struggle, we're going to create and get to what we want because then we will have earned it. But that's, that's not the way. Uh, you know, Abraham Hicks often says, we just don't understand why you just don't give up and let go instead of, of taking so long to move into your freedom. And you take so long to move into your freedom because you keep your focus on what was and what you're trying to let go of. If you would forget trying to let go of it and focus and resonate with, with what you want or with love or with joy or with fun, if you would find a way to resonate with those things, the other things would heal themselves. So, now what's your question, Jeannie, after all that? <laughs> How best to get rid of the stories that keep coming back? You because see, once that, you start yes, this, the memories come. Just in that question, you've gone back again. You don't focus on getting rid of everything. You focus on what you want. So I would think in this case, what you want is the joy and freedom of feeling great all the time. Yes. Okay. So what in nature represents freedom and ease and, and flying into um, feeling great all the time. What, 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 what little thing in nature would automatically create that for you? A hummingbird, a butterfly? My a feline. What, what? My cat, my feline. No. They don't want you to go there because you, you have used Tabitha for years to play out this story of sickness. Are you aware of that? No, I'm not. Okay. So Tabitha shows me this, and Tabitha shows me that. And, and I use Tabitha as a kind of a, a touchstone as to what's going on with me. They don't want you to do that anymore. Then the freedom of a butterfly. Okay. So every time you have a thought about your mother or a memory of the sickness or, you know, your thought patterns and your fight-or-flight patterns go back to that story, 
I want you to stop, fall into your heart, and go, I'm resonating with the butterfly. Can you feel that shift? Yes. Okay. Now, I don't want to mention the healer's name, but do you remember the the quote that you sent me from a, a certain healer? Yes. What was it, please? Oh, goodness. I think I have to look that one up. One well, sec. it was something about... Um, I've got it right here. It's something about the light not being able to um, permeate or take charge or right. birth or something. Okay, guys, do you want to read it? Do you have it, Jeannie, or yeah. shall we move on? Okay, go ahead. That we're anchoring such intense light, it is not dissipating. Okay. I, I seriously have to say BS. From the point of view and perspective of my channel, all there is is light. That's all you are is light. That's all the world is is light. The light is already anchored. The person that's adrift is us with our crummy focus. All there is is light. There isn't anything we have to do for the light. The light is and always has been. We just have to get out of the way. We have to let go so the light can just be the light and create with the light. Get out of our own way. I just did that. Yes, I get a yes on that. So you got, I hope all of you are putting this together. We're just holding the focus on the drama and the struggle. This is nothing New, the channel has been giving this to this community for three or four years, but we're we're so confused how to do it. It's the doing of it. Whatever you're fighting now in your life, just give up. Give up and fly with the butterflies. You know what you want. You know what you want. Did the phrase I gave you for my awakening at 2 o'clock this morning, it, I know it fits in here. Well, tell us what it is because they don't know what you're talking about. Okay. All of this is emotional genetics, and it can come from any time. What yes, I was thinking that's of that's true. Was that's very true. Immediate. But to focus on that is not no, going to help No, it's letting you. go of that. No, that's not going to help you. Letting go of your resistance to being the butterfly. Whatever is creating you not being the butterfly, you let go. But you don't struggle to let go, and that's where you're stuck at. That's where we're all stuck at. Right. You just let go by focusing on resonating with the frequency of the butterfly. I'm changing into my butterfly shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, sweetheart? Because it, it was a perfect example of what... Look, I, I'm going to share with all of you, I, I've been absolutely living in hell for two weeks try, because I don't want to let go. I just don't want to let go. I want to be right. And right does not let me resonate with the butterfly. You hit it, Dee. Yeah, I, I, Our I know. Our egos and get in all, the way. We're all being sucked into this so much now with all this collective consciousness. And, you know, when I uh, was going through MSN, and all the news and all that stuff. I, I just do that and claim d- divine love around everything. They said, you know, D, this isn't any different than the 60s and the riots. Right. We've, we've done all this before, which is genetic memory. Right. But what is stirring up all of that memory so we're playing it out again? That's the cycle 
that we have to break that's blowing out our immune system and making us work against ourselves. See, if you don't want riots, <laughs> think of hippies in peace or butterflies or whatever does it. I mean, yesterday I was sitting outside and I could feel the anger and I said, okay, don't want this anger, I want peace. And as soon as I said that, a monarch butterfly flew by, two little hummingbirds oh. um, <clears throat> came up and took a drink of water out of the little fountain that I have going back there. And um, um, a dragonfly flew by. Now, you can't tell me that that's coincidence. Dragonflies, signs of new beginning, new beginning. Hummingbirds, butterflies, new life, new beginning. But the, the new beginning is us, guys. It's us. It's us. It's us. It's us. It's us. The more you're pointing the finger in fear and rage, the more you're going to create the same damn stuff. All right, madam. Thank you for serving everybody today. My pleasure. And just one more thing. When I went to vote a couple of weeks ago, there was a sign that one of the teachers had put up with the kids' artwork in the school we vote from. And it was phenomenal. It's not the storm. It's learning to dance in the rain. Nope. 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 I loved it. I went immediately into that. I know, that. but I want you to see why you loved it. So let's get clear, because they're yelling at me. Yeah. We're, we're going to a core belief. See, this is the misunderstanding. This is the misunderstanding of a lot of spiritual stuff that's been passed down. So this page here. Okay. <clears throat> it, it's not, it's what the core belief that they're taking me to is I can never be God. So, what, it, 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 it's not the storm or the rain, it's the creation. What are you creating? That's what we're getting to. Not, okay, well, I can get through the Nazi concentration camps you know, with a positive attitude. This is not what they're talking about. They're talking about living in the vibration of the butterfly that doesn't even know what a concentration camp is. And that's the jump we're trying to make right now. Thank and you. now they're saying, you see, what's coming up is, oh, well, but it happened, and we shouldn't ever forget and all that stuff, and they're, they're adamant about this. Whatever it is for each of us, my father's suicide, the Nazi camps, the riots, you know, the civil rights movements, all of that, they said, look, if you keep honoring all that stuff by telling the story, you don't fly. You just don't fly, period. Right. All right, darling. Thank you. So Bless we're you. Gonna, we're going to all come together, claim the symbol, the formula, the violet flame, the golden light. I am divine love. And so it is. And they're giving me a song right now, a line out of a song by Mary Chapin Carpenter, where she was listening to this preacher. And the line was, he was talking about love, but he had brimstone in his throat. Right. 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 No more, guys. We want our immune systems of our spirituality to be on our side. Our immune system of, of creation being integrated and united, working towards what we want. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Okay, and we're going to Karen in Toronto. Wow. Welcome after that one, Karen. <laughs> that was powerful. <laughs> yep. Wow. Um, absolutely beautiful, Dee. And I, 
I called back because I wanted to let you know I kept showing up. Um, we had our final call on Thursday and, uh, I had, um, messaged Jen and told her, you know, that I was, um, showing up to be authentic because I'm being challenged <laughs> to face the pattern that I always have of not feeling good enough and, and quitting. And it was funny the last class was on deserving. And, uh, so I showed up, it was late at night. I ended up falling asleep <laughs> Um, woke up just as she was saying goodbye, again, went into deep depression and sadness and frustration and, and back into that pattern of, see, it's, it's just not for me. I try and try and I text her and then I went to sleep. Um, that day, my daughter or granddaughter had taken a picture of me. I looked like death warmed over. I was pale. Um, I had no energy. It was like the life had been sucked out of me. The photograph showed me 20 years older than I thought I looked. And when I woke up in the morning, I was on my way to work and I went, you know what? I've had enough. I need to move on. I need to stand integrity. I had, and not realizing that I was speaking <laughs> from power. And uh, I took my phone out and did a selfie. And I thought, this is my before picture. And wait till you see my after picture. And I was shocked because the softness and the peace all of a sudden I realized that there had been a huge shift and uh, um, whether something was done after or whether uh, it was the process, whatever happened totally switched me. And in my photograph, I glowed and I looked so much younger. And I, when I posted it, I had over a hundred hits of everybody going, you know, wow, I look good. And I'm thinking, I'm looking at it going, that can't be me. <laughs> But I was, uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Yeah, well, that, um, that is you when you come forward for yourself. You see, wow. and, and uh, what they, what's important about what the story you just told, Karen, is that you went into immediate self-judgment because you went to sleep. Yes. Okay. So, guys, how's all that self-judgment working for us? Not. Not at all. I found myself, you know, ditching on myself because I was feeling all this anger. Mm -hmm. it, you know, instead of, okay, I'm feeling angry. I don't want to feel angry. What do I want to feel? I want to accept myself in every way. Accept and love myself unconditionally. Then I don't tell my story anymore. Then I don't need to struggle and I don't need to whip myself because I went to sleep or I feel angry or any of the above. It's just good for you, D. You're conscious enough to realize you're angry and you don't want to be, which tells you what you do want to be and what feels like the way you want to be butterflies and dragonflies and beautiful um, uh, Labrador retrievers that I was over at Starbucks and just walked up. This dog walked over to me. Uh, his owner was sitting next to me and came and stood um, so that his heart was next to my heart. That dog understood right there in that moment. But I had to receive it, you see. I had to receive that moment. And what you did, Karen, was you finally received the love from source that you are. It brings tears, Dee. I felt it. You know. I truly felt love. Yes. You, and I, yeah. I so let's all just take a moment to, to feel the love of the source we are. How magnificent our higher selves are which means how magnificent we are because our higher selves aren't disconnected from us. They are us. We're just in the way. So we have to get the part of us that's, no, see, they're stopping me. There you go again, they're saying. You're doing it again. We don't have to do anything but focus on the butterfly. So... They used me beautifully there to show you 
how we fall into the struggle of being the light when all you have to do is just be the light. Did you get it, Karen? <laughs> I got it. I okay. keep seeing the lightning bugs now. <laughs> yeah, the lightning bugs, yeah. indeed. You know, they they don't have to think about when their light goes on. No. And it's funny, be, well, it's not funny. I just, I'm so grateful and I wanted to thank you because I have so much respect for you and I love you. And your you. your challenge in love um, made me step up and say to myself when I went down that path was, you know, are you going to hold on to this story or are you going to challenge yourself to be who you are? And, yep. um, and it was beautiful because sometimes having somebody that, you know, lovingly challenged you, I felt your hand on my shoulder and I don't want to let her down. And in not letting D down, I don't want to let myself down. Beautiful. And uh, it was just such a beautiful piece. And so let's all, thank you, Karen. I I heard all of that beautiful love there. Thank you. Can we all come together and stand together now in this living of the light and and just being the light? Just get whatever's in your way, whoever you're pissed off at or haven't forgiven, including yourself, uh, whatever fear is running you in your life, what it, just, just all you have to do is go right now in this instant, I'm allowing myself to feel the love of the source that I am. I'm allowing myself to be the butterfly. I am the butterfly. I kind of like that. I I think after all our conversation we can really feel that today I am the butterfly so uh, beautiful Karen and keep going I'm standing with you as we all are to keep shining your light and coming forward you know you're only doing it for you baby you got nothing to prove to anybody else right that's right that's right much love to you sweetheart love you namaste (laughs) Beautiful. All right, we're going to Jean in Massachusetts. Hi, honey, you're on. Hi, Dee. Um, <clears throat> you opened with the topic of adrenals, and my adrenals, uh, I went into adrenal depletion last Sunday. And when it lasted till Tuesday, I went to my PC, and uh, she checked thyroid. Thyroid was okay, so I knew it was adrenals. And... Uh, I went into work on Thursday and talked to the manager, and I said, I have to stay out of the dressing room for a while because it's just way too stressful. And he put me out on the floor to straighten racks, and that was fine, but I got very tired and didn't go back on Saturday. So I am feeling better. And uh, Okay. Did they give you any adrenal supplements? I'm already on it. I have a history. Yeah, but do you know, Jean, that you have to change them? Your body gets used to the same supplement, and they need to be changed. Well, I'm on DHEA drops, and I take adrenal support herbal herbal capsules. Okay. Well, I would ask. I'm not a doctor, but I am. <laughs> yeah, I know. I you am a layman do. of of uh, working with adrenals ever since Cujo. I can tell you that when you're on adrenal supplements, and quite frankly, um, this world, we're under uh, so much pressure, most of it, because we still like the struggle. Um, Let me just say this. If you're on antidepressants, I would have your adrenals checked. No, I'm not on any... Well, hold on. I'm, I'm talking to everybody. I'm not a oh, doctor. Okay. Okay. But yep. a lot of doctors will put you on antidepressants when in actuality you're in adrenal fatigue. Mm-hmm. So I would suggest to everyone, if you want to feel better, if you're depressed or angry or pissy, that you have your adrenals checked by um, a doctor or um, um naturopath or or someone that knows 
obviously they have to know. They have to be educated in adrenals. So what's your question, Jean? Do you you don't happen to have a recommendation for a different type of adrenal supplement? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Sweetheart, there are so many, and legally, I would not be able to. Uh, That's fine. I've checked you know, online. Um, but I can tell you, um, I I really do like Metagenics. Uh, I like their brands. Um, but my homeopath, that I well, he's a, an internist that I work with, but he's also um, uh, works first in homeopathy and everything. He changes my adrenals once every two to three months because your body just, um, they just get used to them and they don't react to them anymore. I haven't had a problem in over 10 years. Um, Okay. Let's go to the core of what, you see, this is all about what I talked about in the beginning. Why are you in fight or flight? The overload is no, work. no. What what you're in fight or flight about is creating you feeling overload. Sheets, but give me a song. No, no, it's serious overload. Give me a song, Jean. Moon River. Okay. <clears throat> You dream maker, you heartbreaker. Wherever you're going, I'm going your way. So are you going toward the dream or are you going toward the heartbreak? You can't. Well, you can. And Oh, well, that's what it is. You've collapsed the two things. When I get my dream, when I get what I want, I go into overload. So let that, let's look at that, guys, because uh, that's kind of what's happening on some level um, with a job that I'm doing right now. Um, it appears that I got everything I wanted, but I didn't ask for everything I wanted. So this then is creating um, that place where I can go, oh, I didn't ask for what I wanted, which is something challenging while I was making the money with a steady job. I want to be challenged. I want to feel like I'm doing great work, and I don't have that. So now I know that's got to be a part of what I want. But I don't then sit there and go, I hate this job because. I go, okay, now I'm clear. I want to be challenged more. That's what feels like the butterfly for me, challenge. That excites me. Okay, so let's get clear with you. You wanted a steady job for a long time. You wanted a steady job, right? Yes. Okay. Well, part-time. Okay, and you created it. Yes. Okay, now you have something that you don't want in what you created. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so what is it that is creating the stress that you forgot to ask for in your complete picture? Um, the overload that happens in the summer in the store that I work at. The volume of customers double. I work in the dressing room. I'm very Okay, efficient. that's all the problem. That's all the problem. That's all focusing on a continuation of creating that. And I didn't want to let go because I wanted to be the best. And I, like you, I wanted to be the butterfly that had the challenge to do the hot, one of the harder jobs in the store. Now I'm getting to the point where... I'm going to make the decision to ask to work in a different area that's less stressful. Okay. So what you wanted was a steady part-time job where you could make money mm -hmm. at, in a calm and peaceful and effortless, energetic 
um, pattern. They're giving me the word pattern. Yeah. So instead of going into all a tizzy and going, I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have this, and every time you have the thought, I don't have this, you have more of not that. Do you understand? The more you think, oh, I'm so stressed helping all those people, the more that attracts other thoughts about how stressed you are and creates uh, a very firm belief that when you get what you want, it creates stress because you don't really get what you want because you forgot to ask for all of it in the first place. Are you with me? Sort of. Okay, let me make it clear. You want a steady (laughs) part-time job where you bring in uh, the money that you want and you want to feel joyful and calm and happy like the butterfly while you're doing it. That's what you want. Yes. So that every thought you have is around that, not about how stressed you are, because it's the thoughts about how stressed you are that are, is creating the stress and the adrenal fatigue. That's the whole picture for you, Jean. Did you get it? Yes. Okay. I would listen to this uh, two or three more times so that it, it really gets into your knowing. So all Jean does is focus on the peacefulness and the ease and the effortlessness and the joy of this job. And then allow those thoughts to create that reality for you. And it had. I'll be there two years in August. Mm -hmm. And I had those feelings. Okay. So you allowed something to happen to raise an old belief and an old story, let that go and just keep focused on what you want. When you get what you don't want, that's got to tell you you're back in a thought pattern that is creating what you don't want. Bring yourself back to feeling free, feeling happy, thinking only of what you want, any way you can. And the easiest way right now is I resonate with the butterfly. All right, darling. Thank you. Thank you so much. You bet. Look, this show today, everybody we're talking to is talking to everybody, absolutely everybody. Vicki in South Carolina, you're on. Uh, Yes. Thank you for taking my call. Um, About a year ago, I had a colonoscopy, and I had some polyps, and I was shocked. And I was told I needed another colonoscopy in three years, which is two years from now. And I've been working on um, healing and trying to balance my body so my next colonoscopy Okay, no, no, no. See, they're pointing out again how we're doing it wrong. Feel like a butterfly. Yeah. And see your colon beautiful and pink and happy. That's all you have to do. Okay. We make it so dang hard, guys. We struggle to create our freedom. Does that make sense when I use those words? You, you've yeah. got to get it when I use those words that we're struggling to create our freedom. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. We're just working way, 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 way too hard. Hard. Feel good, feel good, feel good. Feel good. Have fun. Feel good. Laugh. Feel good. You know, the polyps, pardon my French, but these are the words I'm being given through the channel. The polyps were just a sign that you should let go of your shit, babe. Yeah. Just let go of your shit. And you know what shit you had to let go of. It's almost gone, but you keep focused on it because you're trying so hard. Do you understand, yeah. Vicki? You got I it, do. didn't you? I do. Yes. Okay. I do. As okay. long as you're struggling to let go and get something, to do something, to be something, you're part of the problem, not the freedom. Yes. 
Okay. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, go line dance, they say. <laughs> Do you line dance? They're showing me country no. western dancers. Yeah, but it looks fun. I thought well, about it. They're suggesting that that might be a really good thing for you if you don't do it then. Okay. Okay. Which, by the way, are you in a relationship? Yes. Okay. Well, that's either going to enhance the relationship you're in. They're saying absolutely if you can get him. Or um, it's going to be so much fun with you that it's going to affect the relationship you're in. I get that. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. Crazy how this stuff comes in. All right, baby, thank you. Thank you. We're going to Allison. Whoops, didn't get her off there. We're going to Allison in Arizona. Hi, sweetheart, you're on. Oh, hi. I'm enjoying your show. Well, thank you. I don't know if that was a yawn or a burp, but (laughs) I'll take either one. Good, Allison. Have you been with us before? No, this is my first time to listen in. Well, good. What have you learned today? Because it's been quite an awesome show. Yeah, just uh, just things that I've that I've thought about, or practiced, or read about, or taken upon myself. You know, for, uh, I get for a me. yes on everything but practiced. Uh, and I, I can practice. hear the vibration in your voice. You know, you can tell from all the callers, this is about, you know, ruthless honesty and and tough love. So there's a vibration in your voice that's a victim. Where are you still a victim, Allison, that you can let go of that today? Who are you a victim to? Oh, I, that's a, that's. Kind of personal. <laughs> like, okay, you don't you, know. you don't have to talk about it, but you called in and I took your call to let yeah. you know that that's where you have to let go. You you got to pull your focus back from that, otherwise you cre- keep creating dis ease, whether it's physical or spiritual or mental or emotional, for yourself. You see, we forgive other people so we can be the butterfly. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So the the channel is inviting you to forgive, move on, and pull your focus away from um, what, whomever that is. Okay? All right, darling. Thanks for calling in. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we're going to lose. Hi, baby. What's up? Hi, how are you? I'm good. What can we do for you? You are on fire today. <laughs> yes, the channel is, is, you know, the last few shows have just been off the charts for me, but this one even further. So yeah. what are you bringing in for us? Um, well... You are right on. Like when you were talking about like, so my name actually is Luz, which is means light. And uh-huh. I realized that. Yes, that's exactly my name. And I realized when you say that, well, that we actually light. So all is light. So that's what I keep telling myself. When I know, like I, I'm being telling myself that, that I'm light, I'm light. And just to allow that. Okay. So, so stop. Because they want to make the point again. You don't have to, quote, keep telling yourself. You don't (laughs) have to try. You just have to be. You know, but we just like to work for things. And again, um, I I just heard Abraham say, you know, um, it was a conversation with Wayne Dyer, which is, is... quite amazing because she just keeps putting Dr. Dwyer Dyer in his place because like us, he didn't really get it. And um, she, Abraham said, you know, or Dr. Dyer was saying, I wake up at three thirty in the morning 
And, and Abraham said, yes, because there's no resistance then. And you can just be the light you are. But you have the ability to be the light you are at any time, any place. And we just don't understand why you wait so long to allow that to happen. Why you have to keep working, you see, to allow that to happen. And at 3.30 in the morning, you're not resisting so we can actually get through. Well, it goes back to the beginning of the show when you say not resisting ourselves and work with ourselves. Like when we make a choice, get all that we are on board into that. So keep re- repeating things on myself. It's me not getting on board with myself and supporting yep. myself. It's you. It's like saying, uh, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful because you don't really think you are. And because I'm not supporting and getting on board with what I'm yeah. saying. When you know you're beautiful, you don't have to say it. You don't have to try. Now, so what is, they're, what they're is, giving me Shakespeare's line, me thinks thou dost protest too much. Say that again? It's a line from Shakespeare, me thinks thou dost protest too much. Because when when we come forward and we go, uh, I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am balanced. I am. I am. I am. That's working at trying to be the butterfly instead of resonating with the butterfly and getting in touch with that vibration and just living there. Wow. You got it. Yep. Thank you yeah. so much. Love this, you. Is, this is what the whole show is about, is can you just stop trying and struggling because that's what keeps your adrenals pouring out. But D, right? that, also go, that also goes back to the ingraining uh, belief that we have in place. Like, I think that we repeating the same thing over and over to ourselves, and it is on my experience, and I know it has happened. Eventually, that becomes a truth in my life. Absolutely. So I think but also only we, if you, only if you come from the vibration of the freedom and the joy and the love of the butterfly first, if. If you're affirming from that place of I'm notness, nothing shifts, guys. Because your focus energetically is still on I'm not enough. And so I'm going to keep saying all this stuff to try and change that. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. It never worked. And it doesn't work now. So if we want, you know... um, If we want to do work for our country, we get up every day and go, thank you for my beautiful country that's in integrity. Thank you for the leaders that work together. You know, I feel, I'm feeling the freedom of the butterfly around everything I'm saying because I know that this is truth if it is my truth. But if it's, oh, I'm in so much fear that I've got to keep claiming this and saying it and doing the affirmations and keeping the struggle behind it. Nothing's going to change. And we're just adding to the problem. All right, darling, thank you. You got it. They're telling me you got it. (laughs) Thank you. All right, baby. Okay, Bente? In Norway, yes, I'm supposed to be off the air in one minute, but they told me to take your call. What is it? Quickly. No, uh, quickly, it's it's. Uh, I'm doing my best to create uh, happiness in my life, and I wanted to go dancing uh, two two nights in a row, and I created some pain and in my body, so I didn't manage to go. So I wonder what the channel had to say about that. Well, because you're trying to create more joy and you've got it half right. You picked something that was going to create joy for you, but um, like Jean, you know, you got 
half of what you wanted, but there's some kind of belief that you have to struggle to do that. And if you believe that you have to struggle for your freedom and your joy, then you've got to create some kind of struggle in association with getting the freedom and the joy, and that's what you got. Okay. Okay. Well, so don't. Just go oh, okay. <laughs> Just go live in the joy. Just I'll go do live that. in the joy and go, okay, well, you know what? I feel this pain, and I'm going to go dance anyway because I'm not going to connect this anymore. So yeah. I'm the butterfly. I'm just flying free. I'm going dancing. That's what you want. Thanks. Yes. Do you understand? Thank you so much. You bet. Yes, I do. You bet. Yes, thank All right, you. guys, this has been an amazing show of clarity. We are claiming all of us consciously right now. We are claiming that we are clear about the creation process. We are clear about being the butterfly. We are clear about flying free and joyfully as the light that we are. Claiming the symbol, the formula, the violet flame, the golden light. I am the butterfly. And so it is. Oh, what an amazing show until we meet again. Love yourselves, love yourselves, love yourselves being the butterfly. I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining Dee on Conscious Creation. Visit her website at imdwallace.com for awesome downloads, archived shows, enlightening webinars, and amazing free offerings. Be sure to join us next week for Conscious Creation with Dee Wallace. And remember, loving yourself is the key to creation. Creation.